In the dark forest of Antazonia, hidden among the wet trees and bushes, lies a big colony of the magnificent trapjaw ants. These trapjaw ants live here peacefully, foraging silently in the walled field with the incessant singing of the green cicada box. Though the trapjaw ants are equipped with large snapping jaws that can close with speed, reaching 2300 times faster than the blink of an eye, their jaws are not so efficient in hunting big prey or carrying very large loads. However, these trapped jaw ants look content with what little food they can carry back home. And while the big trapped jaw ants are busy in carrying away small pieces of food to their nest, their tiny neighbors, who are the tiniest of trapped jaw ants belonging to the Istrumigens clan, can also be seen foraging alongside the bigger ants. A few feet away from this place, a big yellow striped wireworm larva is also moving around in search of food, terrorizing the small red ants coming in its path. All of a sudden, the wireworm larva gets silent, and then we see a trapjaw ant walker coming and attacking the wireworm larva. But the more the ant strikes, the more it is sent flying back due to the impact. But the wireworm larva is not reacting even a bit. The snap of the trap jaw ant is having no impact on the top body of the wireworm larva. The surprised trap jaw ant, instead of striking again, begins to inspect the body of the wireworm larva with its long antennae. And then it just walks away from there, maybe having decided that this is one food that is just too difficult to swallow. The wireworm larva, which was until now looking relaxed in front of the ant, begins to dig into the mud hurriedly, as if it was just faking to be relaxed in front of the ant and was just waiting for a chance to escape. Another trapped ant walker appears and tries its best to stop the escaping wireworm larva. But it fails miserably and is sent flying away somewhere by the force generated by the impact of its jaws on the top body of the wireworm larva. The wireworm larva has almost escaped, but just then an ectomomimix walker appears and begins removing the mud from the path through which the wireworm larva had left. The wireworm larva is about to escape under the dry leaves when the ectomomimix walker catches up with it and begins to attack it immediately. Now unlike the trapped ants, the ectomomimix walker do not snap at the wireworm larva from a distance, but it begins to bite the wireworm larva ferociously, also stinging it at the same time. Now the body of this larva is just like that of a crocodile, tough in the upper part, but soft and delicate in the underbelly. The ectomomimix walker is targeting the soft underbelly of this larva. However, this larva seems very strong, for even after getting bitten and stung several times, it is still moving and trying to escape. With the deadly and biting its tail, the resilient larva slowly crawls away. However, it appears that the ectomomimix walker is in no mood to give up. And it appears as if it is now going for the head of the wireworm larva. The struggle between the hunter and the one being hunted takes place for quite a long time. As the strange game of life and death is taking place between the prey and the predator, we see a lone trapped ant walker quietly leaving the hunting ground. It goes straight to its nest and informs its sisters about the wireworm larva and the ectomomimix walker. The trapped ant soldiers immediately descend down and they attack and chase away the ectomomimix ant. Shocked by the sudden attack of the trapped jaw ants, the ectomomimix walker runs away for his life. In order to escape, it climbs up a tree. But the trapped jaw ant walker comes running after it and strikes it with painful blows a couple of times. The poor ectomomimix walker escapes with a wounded body and a wounded pride. Down below, the trapped ant soldiers 
easily subdues the wireworm larva which is now weak and wounded from the attack of the ectomal mimics walker. After taking possession of the food which is going to feed the colony for several days, the trapped ants begin to focus on nest building, forgetting all about the incident that took place today. At some distance from the nest of the trapped ants, the ectomomirmix ants have caught a large beetle larva. Right now, the ectomomirmix ants are busy in taking care of this big deadly beetle larva. However, though they are busy at present, they have not forgotten what their sister had to go through today. The desire of vengeance in burning is strong in their heart. Will they be able to avenge their sister? This only time will tell.